guys, it's Nakaya with House of Meese, and today is going to be the first day of back to school prep. prep. Jalen, um, if you don't know, goes back to school tomorrow, which is Tuesday. And I wanted to kind of do an entire week of different school things um, to kind of help with back to school. It seems to be pretty popular, um, and you guys like to see them, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, first of all, please excuse my hands. We've been painting her room, so I have pink all over my hands. Um, but yeah, I use for planning for everything, um, as far as household things, bills, my kids, um, you know, and actually my day-to-day, -day, what I like to do, I use one thing, and that is my A5 Filofax. So everything is in here. Um, and then I wanted to show you guys some of the, you know, stickers, because I do like decorate with stickers and a stamp set that I like to use to do that. So first we're going to start with the stickers, um, and I'm going to move this over to the side. Okay, so the stickers, I use several sets of stickers, but the first thing that I wanted to show you guys were these um, stamps. And these stamps are from Sweet Stamp Shop. I ordered these a while ago, so I'm not entirely sure if they're like still in stock or anything. Sorry if there's a glare, by the way. Um, but I love these. There's like something for everything on here. There's a couple of globes and like actual like images, um, calculator, things like that. And there's a bunch of words, which I love because uh, maybe I don't want to buy a lot of stickers that are like specific to each of these things. I can just stamp it on a sticker and it's awesome. So one of the, some of the ones that I like are like permission slip, um, test, teacher, lunch, um, field trip, um, and also when you have to do money and stuff like that. And I like that they include the word bring because you can basically apply that to everything. So bring permission slip, bring homework, bring project. I think it's awesome. So there's that. I think this was $7, but I will correct myself if I'm wrong. The next things are these. Um, I'll show you guys how I use these um, in my monthly in a little bit, but they're just deco stickers. I got them from an Etsy seller. Um, online I also have these these are really interchangeable for any type of sale or anything and they have these similar these uh, the Avery stickers that are at like just Walmart or Target or your local um, office store I just like that these colors were pastel um, and then I basically use all of the pink stickers for PTA meetings and then the last two are sticker sets the first one is Lily Henry um, which I absolutely adore. I've used so many stickers already. You can tell she has a bunch of good stickers. She had first day of school and no school, things like that. I'm saving a lot of these um, for my actual planner day that these things are happening on, which is why, you know, several of them aren't being used. And there's an entire another sheet with like class parties and snow days and art shows, picture days. And then the last set is from Plans with Pixie Dust. Um, I ordered these stickers. They're a little bit too big for my monthly, but it's, it's totally fine. And these are the ones that I mainly used for my, um, my monthly. So there's one more sticker set that I didn't mean to show you guys. I totally forgot. And this is the, it's from Lily Henry, and I believe she called it the sampler like a mini sampler or something like that um, and basically it's just every these markers and crayons are like absolutely adorable so there's markers crayons couple of pencils um, the school bus is super cute backpacks and crayons everything is good once again I'm saving this for when she um I need to use them in my daily. So the first section, I made these dividers by myself by the way they're horrible but they work. Um, the first divider that I use um, Oh, my phone is ringing so I'm back sorry is my monthly so I have months just written on written on here so my um, inserts and things that are from Pia and I think it's called Pyrrhic Pyrrhic I don't know I like I said I'll put it down below but I absolutely love them so um, and basically here's how I use the dots that I showed you guys earlier so if you can see I have um, the blue dot means no school, the purple dot means early release, and then the yellow means military, which doesn't pertain to right now, but you know, whatever. I have this little tab keeping them together, and I'll basically show you guys how August is and show you a few extra things. Um, so, so I have days like the first day of school, which is the 18th marked, um, and down here I have PTA meetings, which this is when I, would, I was using a different sticker, and then watch dogs for my husband because he's in watch dogs. And things like that just written out. I have our open house. I did, oh, that was the Lily Henry sticker. I'd use that as well as that. So I like to have everything on here because when I plan from a day-to-day -day basis, what I do basically is look at my monthly and put that stuff in and then go um, carry on with what I want to do. Basically, it's what I do. So then I have an Ollie clip just keeping 
all of the future pages together. I only, like I said, I only plan Jalen's school events um, ahead of time. And I, you get the normal pink sheet of paper, well ours is pink, but the sheet of paper that tells you all their days that they have off, um, all the days that they have early releases, parent teacher conference, all that stuff, and I put that in ahead of time. Um, so that way I can plan my schedule accordingly. So here is September. She does also start dance class on the 7th, but I have, as you see, a purple one here, which she gets out of early for early releases. Um, and then, oh, well, that's military for my husband. And then she also has um, a picture day on this day. And it's pretty much the exact same thing for every single day. Parent-teacher conferences, I like that, um, I used both of the stickers. So I took the Plans with Pixie Dust sticker and then I put Lily Henry sticker over it so that, because I just kind of like this one better. It was a little bit more vibrant of colors. And then um, I left a slot there. And then I have, like I said, doctor's appointments. And I have another PTA meeting. Like I said, I marked all the PTA meetings besides the one in August with the pink stickers um, from Planner Happiness, I think. Is that Planning Happiness or whatever? Um, and then even if I already know there's no school because, like, obviously, parent teacher conferences, there are no school, I still mark it. So I also mark it for holidays because sometimes I don't know when a holiday break ends. Um, so spring break obviously is a week that's pretty easy. Actually this year they get a, the following Monday off so it's technically like not just a normal school week for them. Um, but like Christmas break, sometimes I completely space out or sometimes they don't have school. There's been several times actually for Jalen that I got her ready for school and then I realized that she didn't have school. This is why I need this. I just function better when everything is planned out and I can look at it and know. My choice and my reasoning for using the dots on the days was simply because I didn't want to take up space putting no school um, and you would have to continue to put no school um, and I, I don't know I just really didn't I didn't like that and there were so many days that there was no school and there was early release so I decided to just use these and I like these because they're obviously you can see through them or whatever and I think I got this uh, these actual dots from um, Jen Dufour from Instagram um, I'll link her down before it down below if you're interested in planning stuff you probably already know about her but if you're trying to get into it definitely follow her she's awesome and that's where i got these from before i was just using just normal dots um, and i would just rewrite the number on there and then like i said moving on to here when there's like larger dates um as you can see the book fair is the second through the sixth i'll put the sticker in the middle and then draw arrows all the way across so it lets me know that basically i have that entire time so i don't necessarily i like using stickers when it's one day because it gets my attention and i can focus right on that day but when it's like a whole week and i basically have time to do something like the book fair for instance um i'll see this and go okay i have this whole week to do this i don't necessarily need to know immediately but what the sticker in the middle does for me is when I see that there, it's like bold saying, okay, now you're counting down until you're done with getting the, your, and now you're counting down until you're done with the time uh, period or time frame to get this done. So that's why I like putting the sticker in the middle. Um, as far as my daily, there really isn't much to show. Um, the only thing is that, for instance, so the only thing I mark, I do use these stickers. Um, these stickers are from... I'll enter it in, but they're little lunchbox sticks. So she brings uh, her stick or her lunch about two to three times a week, and then obviously the other she eats lunch at school two to three times a week, depending on how things are, what she wants to do, and everything like that. So I wanted to show you guys this page, which I uh, is incredibly ha handy. Um, this is obviously a blank page. I will show you guys um, part of mine because um, I kind of changed it a little bit, but. Um, this is the, the blank part, obviously. I can't show you guys this. But I got this from Mama's Got It Together. It's an Etsy um, store, and then you buy the PDF, and then you print it out. So you can put it has school information. You put your child's name, and then your school address, the phone number, um, the principal's phone number, all that jazz. And then down here it says grade, room. It did say locker and um, the combination, but I meant to white out mine, and I ended up whiting this one out. So. Um, then lunch is at the bus number pick up and drop off. It also has class contacts, so room moms, and then just other contacts, maybe a par or something like that. Extracurricular activities, and then notes. Okay, guys, so I finally got stuff covered up, and I wanted to show you this. So what I did is this is the school day, like, sticker, like the logo sticker from the Lily Henry set. I got this idea from um, Happily a Housewife, and she did it, and I thought it was super cute. So I did it, too, because I didn't know what else I was going to do with the sticker. Um, so I put that sticker up top of um 
the original, you know, school information and child's name. And then basically it said Lily Henry under this and I took one of my scalloped um, just functional labeling stickers um, from Christian Designs and put Jalen's name on there. And then, like I said, I have all this information down. I did change this, the um, locker and combo, because she's using kindergarten, she doesn't have one, to login and password. We have a portal that we can use to see the grades and progress and things like that of our children, and I want to put that in here. And then in extracurricular activities, I put her dance studio, what day she has dance, for how long, um, and then their address, and then their phone number. And then the last thing here is a list for lunches. I highly recommend doing this if you are going to be um, making your child lunches. These are a list of things that she likes, um, just regular lunch or really nice and easy lunch things. Um, and some of them are hot and they're cold and I basically know myself what needs to be done for each one. And then the ones that have asterisks on them are things and recipes that are from Et or not Etsy, sorry, Pinterest. And, um, and I know to get on my pen to find the recipe to make these. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed and it was somewhat helpful. Um, if you have any tips or trips, tricks that help you kind of plan and schedule out um, and remember dates for your youngings in school, please let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.